Hello, I am Tatika Gupta, and uh, I am chartered accountant by profession, and I am passionate about teaching. So, I am into teaching profession from five years from uh, now, and uh, I am teaching eleven, twelve college students, MBA students. So, we are taking uh, class here for accountancy. Accountancy is basically is a different language where we study the financials of the business so we can start with the introduction of the class um uh, we are starting with accounting let's understand what is accounting all about accounting is an art basically art of recording classification classifying summarizing business transaction business transaction which are related to money whatever we do in business related to money money transaction that is uh, recording them then summarizing them interpreting them that is accounting so i'll write here So, accounting is an art of recording, classifying, and summarizing business transaction with the view to a certain net profit and financial position of the business transaction. Sorry, business transaction is business enterprise. Net profit of business enterprise. Okay. So, every monetary transaction we do in our business. that has to be recorded firstly it has to be recorded secondly it has to be classified classified then summarized and the purpose of our doing all this is to get net profit to know what how much we have earned and what is our position what the business as business standing where its overall position that we got to know with accounting so it has features which or we can classify this uh, definition into recording firstly we need to have business transaction second what is important in this uh, definition is monetary trans money transaction need to be monetary then we need we need to do recording then classifying then summarizing to summarizing for what summarizing to get to know financial position or prof net profit to you know net profit so 
what is business transaction business transaction any transaction we do in business is business transaction now for accounting it has to be in monetary terms like i am selling goods for 20000 so here 20000 goods monetary term is 20000 money is involved of 20000 recording when we record we take this transaction of selling goods of 20000 into our books classify all the transaction related to six of similar type all the transaction related of one type are taken to one side or one book is called classifying like all the sales transaction taken in one book that is sales book is classifying it as sales transaction all the cash transaction or bank transaction taken to cash book is classifying the cash transaction in the cash book then we have summarizing summarizing is the taking the transaction whatever we have classified into trial balance balance sheet to get the position of the company its profitability is uh, to get its balance sheet profit and loss account is summarizing further we understand further we understand the user of the financial position who all are the user of financial position uh, account are like who are the user of financials we are making through accounting statements to accounting so we have internal user these are owner of the business who need to know how much he has gained how much he has lost from every transaction employees of the company who need to know the position of the company is company is in loss or company is gaining management managers of the company need to know where they are proceeding are they doing uh, going right in their uh, uh, in their policies or they are going in a uh, wrong directions outsiders another one is outsider user they are creditors of the company whom we have to pay money bank from where we have taken loans government where we have to pay taxes competitor who need to know how much we are earning shareholder or people who have invested in our company then we have a uh, terms of accounting we use different terms in accounting so in this demo we learn about these terms terms used in accounting capital we can say capital is a owners fund so what we understand by owners fund 
whenever we start a business whenever a person start a business he brings some amount into the business that is we call capital whatever the owner the proprietor of the business whom the business belong brings into the business is capital this is the amount business has to give when it ends to the owner so capital is the proprietors fund owners fund example mr s started business and bring 20000 so here capital is 20000 then we have drawings drawings are whatever amount the proprietor of the business draw from the business for his personal use is drawing for any maybe in cash or in things that is drawings any amount or thing drawn from business by proprietor is his drawing when we have liabilities 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 refers to the amount which company firm or business owes to outsiders that amount which we business has to pay to the outsiders refers to the amount example of liability is bought machinery of rupees 50000 and paid after one month so here we pay to the writer of machinery or to mr to mr a so here mr a is our creditor we have to pay 50000 it is our liability we owe him 50000 we have to pay him 50000 after one year therefore mr a becomes our liability liability are of two type internal liability internal liability internal liability is 
our capital since we have we have to pay capital amount to the owner or the proprietor once the business is over at that time so this is our internal liability although we don't have to pay it now or in near future but it is somewhere kind of liability only external liability whatever amount we have to pay outsider that is external liability further liabilities can be further classified into non current liabilities all those amount which is due which is not due in near future that is in within one year is non current liability like the loans loans we have we can pay loans generally we used to pay loans in 5 years 6 years so these are not our current liability therefore we call them non current liabilities all to amount we don't current liabilities amount which we amount which we have to pay in near future near future that is within one year of time our current liabilities further we move to assets whatever whatever or anything which company possess or business possess business possess or property which is in possession of the company property which is in possession of business are assets to business like machinery computers building stock furniture all these things are assets to business assets can be further classified into non current assets or current assets non current assets are those assets which 
continued to remain is business in business and used for the purpose of producing goods and services which remain in business for long time and utilized for producing goods and services current assets are those which are short short term assets which will converted into cash very easily and within short period of time like say in maximum within one year and which is meant for sale assets which are meant for sale and converted in to cash in short period of time then we have income income is basically whatever we earn from our business is income income from business expense then we have revenue revenue is whatever whatever business uh, has been done like sales whatever sale we have made or whatever uh, amount we have gained from the business is revenue like sale of goods or sale of any asset that is revenue and expenses whatever amount we have paid to produce goods or sell goods are the expenses these are the expenses short term expenses 